Good morning, good morning. set before him. And that's what we want to talk to you about this morning. 
for the joy mm -hmm. that was set before him. Mm -hmm. Eternal God, our Heavenly Father, as we come now, Lord, to break the bread of life. As always, we're not necessarily asking you for a good message, but rather for a message that will do some good. Mm -hmm. To the extent, Lord, that all of us might be blessed. Yes, sir. Let it become less and less of us and more and more of you. Yeah. Let it become none of us and all of you so that you and you alone will get the glory. And it's in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah. For the joy that was set before him. Well. Hebrews 1 and 2. Uh, no, I keep saying 1 and 2. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 says that sin holds us back. But there are also things that may not be sin, mm -hmm. which it refers to as every weight. It may not be sin, but are mere, merely hindrances mm -hmm. that can keep us from running effectively the race that God has set before us. Mm -hmm. Our choices, our daily choices are not always between right and wrong, mm -hmm. but between something that may hinder us from achieving the goal that God has set for us to achieve. Well, so he admonishes us, Paul does, to lay aside every weight, every weight. and the sin which so easily ensnares us. Mm -hmm. Then in Hebrews 12 and 2, the author, Paul says, Jesus is called the author and the finisher of our faith. In other versions of the Bible, Jesus is referred to as the originator or the perfecter of our faith. Mm -hmm. And then in Philippians 1 and 6, it says, being confident well, of this very thing, yeah. that he who has begun a good work in you yeah. mm -hmm. will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. So God is going to keep working on us and working on us until we get it right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 12 and 2 also states that for the joy yes. that was set before him, uh -huh. Jesus endured the cross. Yes. Yes. I, I need you to think about that for a minute, New Hope, mm -hmm. or what it says here. And this is one of the greatest paradox uh, of all time. Mm -hmm. For how can Jesus, or how could Jesus, while he was hanging suspended from a rocket cross, experience joy. One would think that one of the most brutal and excruciating uh, uh, methods of punishment at that time uh, would leave a person uh, feeling anything except joy. My mind. Yeah. But yet the word says that Jesus, for the joy that was set before him, yeah. he endured the cross. Yeah. Jesus' joy, you see, lay beyond the cross. Yes. Uh, Jesus looked past the cross to being back with his father. Yes. On the cross, Jesus endured shame, mm -hmm. but he did not let that shame deter him one bit. Mm -hmm. For the joy that was set before him, mm -hmm. he did not consider shame as a worthy reason to turn back on his father. Mm -hmm. yes, what was the joy well. that was set before him? The joy of doing his father's will. Jesus says he did not come to do his own will, but to do the will of the Father who sent him. Yes. Mm -hmm. The joy of bringing uh, many brothers and sisters, many of us, into the brotherhood and into the fold of knowing Jesus Christ yes. as our personal Lord and Savior. Yes. This gave him joy. Yes. It says for the shame that he endured on the cross. Mm -hmm. He didn't endure it for himself, well. but he did it for you and I. He says, for the joy mm -hmm. that was set before him, he endured the shameful mockering of the crowd that passed by. Mm -hmm. There were some that said he saved himself, or he saved others rather. Why can't he save himself? Well, mm -hmm. yes, sir. But when I think about the joy that Jesus experienced uh -huh. for, my sake. for my sake. I get joy yeah. knowing that he sacrificed his life for you and I. Yes, Let's go to the scriptures. I want to look at 
What theologians say are the last seven phrases or seven words from the cross. Uh -huh. And uh, we can see the joy illuminating from Jesus on the cross. Come on now. Luke chapter 23, verses 12, uh, verses 32 through 34 mm -hmm. says, there were also two other criminals mm -hmm. led with him to be put to death. Mm -hmm. So even though it was humiliating, uh, it, at least the, the, the religious leaders thought that it would be humiliating to hang Jesus in the midst of two criminals. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Uh, God had already foretold that this would happen. Mm -hmm. yes, and verse 33 says, And when they had come to the place called Calvary, come on. the place of the skull, there they crucified him. Uh -huh. And the criminals, one on, on his right hand and the other on his left. Mm -hmm. Then Jesus said, Father, mm. forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, I've got, to, I've got to, to live what I preach. That's right. Remember, Jesus said, you had to forgive folk. Yeah, that's right. Even the one that despitefully use you, yeah, that go out of their way to use you, yeah, he says, right. you have to forgive. Yeah. And if you don't forgive, neither will his heavenly Father forgive you. Yeah. So now here's Jesus on the cross being crucified for a crime he did not commit. Well. And all of that, Jesus was not bitter. But he said, Father, forgive them. Now they know that they're crucifying me, uh -huh. yes. but they don't understand the full ramifications of what they're doing. Right. They don't realize the act of the things that are going to come as a result yes. of what they're doing. Yes. They think they realize what they're doing, but they really don't. Uh -huh. So Father, forgive them Father, of their ignorance. Uh -huh. And then they divided his garments and cast lots. Now, I want to give you a chronological order of these last seven phrases. On, and man. then, in Luke, all right? Luke chapter 32, or chapter 23, verses 42 through 43. The two thieves, he's hanging in midair on the cross between these two thieves. One on his right hand and one on his left. Then, one of the thieves on his right hand said to him, to Jesus, Lord, remember me. We would call this a deathbed confession. Come on. Yes. The thief was on the cross. He knew death was inevitable. Come on. Then he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me remember. when you come into your kingdom. Well. And Jesus said to him, Assuredly, I say to you, today, today. today. not tomorrow, right. not next week. Right. Even though a loved one may pass away on today, you may funeralize that person uh, three or four days from now. But the word declares that the moment you take your last breath on this side, yeah. you'll be taking your first breath over there in glory. Yeah. Notice Jesus didn't promise the thief that after they have your funeral, yeah. you'll be with me. Right. But Jesus says, assuredly, you can take this to the bank. I say to you today, you will be with me yes. in paradise. Uh -huh. What an awesome promise. Yes. You don't think the thief found joy <laughs> even when he was hanging on the cross to make a deathbed confession? Oh and God. Jesus promised him that today, today. you will be with me. Yes. What an awesome promise. Sure. All right? Then in St. John, he's on the cross. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. The thine thief said, Lord, remember me yeah. when you come into your kingdom. Yeah. St. John 19, 25 through 27 says, Now there stood by the cross of Jesus, mm -hmm. his mother, mm -hmm. and his mother's sister, and the wife of Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother mm -hmm. and the disciple whom he loved, talking about John, uh, John, John the Revelator, well, John, we call him the Revelator, but Jesus is the Revelator, mm -hmm. he loved standing by he said to his mother, woman, woman. behold your son. Yes. Jesus didn't have to explain to his disciple what he meant by that. Come on. He automatically understood that Jesus wanted him to take his mother into his own house and treat her as if that was his mother. Right. Now, wouldn't it be nice that Jesus wouldn't have to try to explain things to us in his word? Right. That we could just speak to our hearts and we would get the full meaning of what yes. it is that we should do? Yes. Jesus didn't have to explain it to John. John understood. Woman, 
Behold your son. Yeah. All right? Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. Right. And from that hour, that disciple took her to his own home. He understood. Jesus, while he was hanging on the cross, yes. notice Jesus still wasn't thinking about himself. That's right. Jesus was still thinking about us. Yes. Father, forgive them, mm -hmm. for they know not what they do. Mm -hmm. Lord, remember me. Remember me. Mm -hmm. Disciple, behold your mother. Yes. Yes. Still thinking about others yes. more than he was thinking about himself. Yes. And then in Matthew, Come on. the word says, now from the sixth hour, mm -hmm. from 12 o'clock midday mm -hmm. until the ninth hour, three o'clock in the afternoon, there was darkness over the land. Mm -hmm. It was not just darkness in the land of Israel or Jerusalem, the city of Jerusalem, but the whole earth. Yeah. It was darkness. My God. Now from the sixth hour until the ninth hour, there was darkness over all the land. Yes. And about the ninth hour, three o'clock in the afternoon, during the time of the evening sacrifice, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabatani, that is my God, my God, why? Why have you forsaken me? Jesus quoted in Psalms 22 and verse 1, my God, my God, and we know that his father had not forsaken him. No, he had not. Jesus taking the pain and the punishment of us for each and every one of us. Never before in history, since the time began, had the Father and Son ever been separated from one another. But when sin fell upon God's Son, God turned his back on his Son, not looking upon sin. Eli, Eli, Lama, Lama Sabatani, that is my God, my God, why have you forsaken me. All right? And after, the, after this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, mm -hmm. that the scripture might be fulfilled, mm -hmm. he said, I thirst. Yes. Mm -hmm. I <coughs> thirst. On, after knowing that all the scriptures mm -hmm. had been fulfilled, well, for the joy that was set before him. He endured the cross, despising the shame. He accomplished everything that his father had sent him to accomplish. Knowing that all had been fulfilled, he said, I thirst. Thirst, not just for water, but he thirsts for righteousness. All right? So, when he had received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. I've dotted every eye. I've crossed every T. Everything that you gave me to do, my assignment, my assignment has been completed. My God. It is finished. There's nothing that you can add to the finished work of Come Christ. Come on, Pastor. There's nothing that I can add to the finished work of Christ. Yes. Christ finished it all. He paid it all. Yes. He paid for every one of our sins. Yes. Past, future, and present. Yes. Thank you. So when he had received the psalm, he said, it is finished. Mm -hmm. Devil, I have taken the keys. <laughs> of both hell and the grave. Come on now. And bowing his head, yes. he gave up. Yes, he gave up. Who killed Jesus? Was it the Jews? No. Or was it the Romans? No. Let's see what the word says. John chapter 10, verses 17 through 18 says, Y'all write these scriptures down. Therefore my father loves me because I lay down my life yes. that I may take it again. Come on, Pastor. You can lay down your life 
But you don't have the authority no. of the power to pick it up again. Come on, no. Jesus is the only one oh, that ever lived yes. that had the authority, the power, yes. to not only lay down his life, yes. but to take it back up. Yes, sir. Yes. To take yes. it back up again. Yes. No one. No. The devil wasn't in control. Mm -mm. The Roman authorities weren't in control. Well. The religious leaders were not in control. No. Jesus was in control. Yes. He says, no one takes it from me. No. But I laid it down of myself. Yes. I have power to lay it down. Yes. And I have power yes. to take it again. Yes. This command yes. I have received from my father. Yes. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I can declare it mm -hmm. is finished. All right? Now it was about the sixth hour. Mm -hmm. And there was darkness over all the earth. Mm -hmm. Luke 23, 44 through 46. Then the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was torn in two. This veil that separated the holy from the holy was not torn from the bottom to the top, mm -hmm. but it was torn from the top mm -hmm. to the bottom. Come on. Man did not tear the veil in half, but God did. Yes. And when Jesus had cried out with a loud voice, not with a whisper, mm -hmm. but with the voice of the lion of the tribe of Judah. Well. And when he had cried out with a loud voice, he said, Father, Father. into your hand. I commit my spirit. Yes, sir. Yeah. Having said this, he breathed yes. his life. Yes. No one took it from him. No. No. Jesus chose the moment in time yes. that he wanted to die. Yes. And after he had finished everything on, that was assigned to him to finish, right. he declared, it is yes. finished. Yes. Father, into your hand. Your hand. Mm. Why would he place his spirit in his father's hands. Mm. I'm glad you asked. Mm. Let's see. Yeah. All right? St. John 10, 27 and 30. Mm -hmm. My sheep, my sheep. Mm -hmm. hear my voice. Mm -hmm. And I know them. And they follow me. Mm -hmm. And I give them eternal life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they shall never perish. Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. Well. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater. Come on. The Father that has given them to me yeah. is greater than all. Yes. I searched the world over. Yeah. Couldn't find nobody. No. Search high and low. Yeah. Couldn't find nobody. Yeah. Snatch them out 
of my father's hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I and my father yes, sir. are one. Yes, sir. We're one in essence. Yeah. We're one. What? No one is greater no one. than my dad. Yeah. Can you find anybody? No. Don't let the devil fool you like he's some powerful being. God says, Satan, you're mighty, but I'm God. Right. Yeah. I'm all yeah. Yeah. mighty. Yeah. 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 All right? Yeah. Jesus says, peace, John 14, 27 and 28, mm -hmm. peace, I leave with you. Yeah. My peace, I give to you. Yes. Not as the world gives, do I give to you? See, so you have a lot of Indian givers around here. They want to give, then turn right around and take it back when it's convenient for them. But the peace that Jesus gives, that surpasses all understanding. He says, I'm not going to give you peace like the world does. That will last. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Mm -hmm. He didn't say you weren't going to have troubles. He said, but he can guarantee your untroubled heart. Oh, there may be trouble and chaos out in the world, but you can have an untroubled heart because your peace doesn't come from the world. But your peace comes from God. Amen. Yes, let not your heart be troubled, yes. neither let it be afraid. You have heard me say that to you, I am going away and coming back to you. Mm -hmm. If you loved me, mm -hmm. you would rejoice because I said, mm -hmm. I am going to the Father. Yes, sir. For my Father is greater mm -hmm. while I'm in this flesh and blood body. <laughs> I'm confined to one place at one time. Mm -hmm. But once I get back to glory mm -hmm. on, and receive my glorified body, yeah. Yeah. I can appear and disappear at will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you that peace yes. in knowing that I'm back with my father. Yes. So I found joy, yeah. unspeakable joy, yeah. in doing the will of my father. Yeah. You can find joy, yeah. unspeakable joy, yeah. by being hooked up and tied up and tangled up with yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Then James, and I'm thinking. James says, my brother, count it all joy. Oh, no. all joy. Mm -hmm. When you fall into various trials, whenever you fall into, mm -hmm. knowing that the testing of your faith produces, Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. whenever you're going through something. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. And you want the Lord to hurry up and get you out of it. He says, now I want you to take, take just, just, just meddle out. Just go through this thing. Don't be in such a hurry to get out of it. Don't be in such a hurry for it to pass you by. Because it's working something out in you. It's working something out in you that you didn't know that you had in you. And the longer you're in this thing, the more I'm working on you. And the, more, and the better you're going to be when I bring you out of it. Don't you realize that if I brought it to you, I'm going to bring you through it? I wouldn't have allowed that thing to come upon you, and it was going to overpower you and overtake you. But no, let it have this. Let us have its way. Let it work. Let it do its work. I sent it them to work out something in you that you didn't see in yourself. Knowing that, knowing that the testing. Yeah. When was the last time a, a storm came through? Mm -hmm. Just like physical storms come, mm -hmm. they don't last. That's right. sure. They come and they go. Yeah. Whenever we have trials and tribulations, mm -hmm. sometimes we make statements like, oh Lord, if the Lord only knew. What do you mean if he only knew? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he knew it was coming. You may, maybe you didn't, but he did. He says, I knew it was coming. Yeah. But I sent it the devil meant it for bad, yeah. but I'm working it for your good. Yeah. Because it's only a test. Oh, yes. 
The testing of your faith produces patience. Then he says, but let patience. Yeah, let patience. But let patience have this perfect work. That you may be perfect and complete. Lacking nothing. Just let your trials and your tribulations that you're going through. Just understand that they're only a test. And they're working out a far more weight of glory that will be revealed in the latter days. Yes, sir. But let patience have its perfect yes. work, yes. that you may be perfect and complete, yes. lacking yes. nothing. Mm -hmm. For the joy yes. that was set before, yes. Yes. you can have joy yes. when you're going through, yes. Yes. knowing that it's only a test, yes. and the test will not last forever. Yes. Yes. And God is going to make sure yes. that you pass yes. your TESU. Yes. Or letting the peace of God rule in your heart. Yes. And letting joy yes. rule also in your heart. Yes. For the joy yes. that was set before him. Yes. We can declare when we're going through. Amen. And the world's looking at you here yeah, like you're crazy. <laughs> Say, bro, it's all joy. Yes. Uh, it's all what? It's all joy. It's all joy. Amen. What do you mean? Because if you read the book of James, James 2, 1, verses 2 through 4. It tells us that this test that I'm going through, yes. Elder Harrison, the test that you're going yes. through, it's only a test. Yes. And it's working something out yes. in you Hallelujah. that you didn't see, Amen. but God did. Hallelujah. When you went to the hospital, that night, Hallelujah. God was still working on you. Amen. It was only a test. Hallelujah. And it looks like you passed All right. the test. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sister Johnny is in the hospital yeah. in Chapel Hill, but it's only a T-E-S-T. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and the one who is giving the test yeah. is Jesus. Yeah. You, you don't think that Jesus is going to make sure that all of us pass the test? Just let, just let patience. Do his perfect work. I'm finished. Maybe there's one today. Let's say. For the joy that was set before you. If you have joy today, if you matter of fact, if you don't have joy, my brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is the one who can truly offer, can offer you true joy. I mean joy that will last throughout all eternity. If you want that joy on today, accept Jesus Christ and make Jesus your choice. Yes, he promised us that he would give us not only joy, yes. but he would give us peace. Yes. Peace that surpasses oh, all yes. understanding. Yes. Is there one on today? Is there one? If not, you may be seated. We're going to have two selections from the praise team, and then we're going to have our Easter speech.
Death could not hold his body. 